Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be another Instagram worthy places. Um, I, I think this is like my fourth video and um, in case you hear my baby in the background, she's like right there chilling. And so hopefully she lets us record this. I just want to say a disclaimer, I haven't gone to all of these places because it just, it takes a while for me. I've been trying to get these videos out and so then... I just can't go with to all of them, especially with my baby sometimes. I just can't with church. But I, I do have them in mind and I have seen pictures of my friends going and stuff like that. So I thought I'd share these places with you guys just in case you guys haven't heard of them. Because I haven't heard of all of these. But um, I know they're getting pretty popular, some of them. So I just want to share it with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So the first place is Crazy Cup and this thing, oh my gosh, is heaven because it has all of the chile. Like I like chile, limon and everything like that, chamoy, all of that good stuff, all that Mexican candy that's spicy, really, really good. So I don't even know what they call those straws with like that spicy stuff on it, like it's red. I don't know what it's called, but I had those for my wedding and I was just like, bomb. So anyways, um, this place you can add, make, custom make your own cup and it, that's why it's called Crazy Cup because it has a bunch of stuff on it but it's all really good and so it looks good on Instagram. It looks so colorful and you guys, I'm pretty sure if you haven't con, unless you don't like Mexican candy I guess, then you wouldn't like the spicy stuff but I mean I love it. So if you guys haven't gone already or heard of it, you guys should check it out. It's actually called Little Damage and this one the ice cream looks kind of weird because it's like dark and stuff but they have other options and of course they also have a vegan option so I'm excited to go try that because I found out about that one afterwards and so I want to go and try their vegan ice cream because I am trying to go vegan but that's a whole other story and I like how their wall it says that I licked it so it's mine or something like that I think that's so clever because I don't know, I feel like that's something that little kids do, like when they want to, they don't want to give or share their food, they're like, I licked it, it's mine now, so you can't eat it. So I think that's cute and it's very Instagrammable, if that's even a word, I think I just made up a word. <laughs> so this next place is called Cake LA. And this one is so cute, like, especially I think for little girls, I think they would go crazy with this unicorn stuff. It's like unicorn themed, of course they have other stuff, but I mean, they have cakes and, and cupcakes, but their drinks are so cute, and it's just like a unicorn exploded on them, basically. Um, their drinks are very colorful, it has like the whipped cream, the unicorn little horn thing, it has candy on it, it's all like really looking cute. So it's very, very colorful on your Instagram. So if you're all about those rainbow colors, you should go check out their place. Um, it's not that far from LA. It's still all pretty much here in LA. So there's always that option as well. So the last place I want to share with you guys is called Mexican Shaved Ice or something like that. It, I believe it's kind of new because well, unless that's just how it looks like. I'm not sure. But it's pretty empty in there. Um, and it was kind of like hidden. It's not so obvious on the main streets. You have to park and then go walk and you'll see the sign. Um, they have a lot of options. So you m probably want to like um, read the menu. And they have a lot of toppings there too. So they have like mazapan. And like um, you have the options of covering your, your popsicle in night and ice cream in chocolate so I had my ice cream popsicle I, I chose strawberry the milk one and then I had it covered in chocolate just because I didn't want to overdo it first because I wanted to try how the ice cream itself tasted and then but you could add all different sorts of toppings so you can just ask what kind of toppings they have there as well um, but it, it was good I liked it and they even have actual shaved ice so my husband got the coconut one. He didn't really like it, but I liked it. It had chunks of coconut in there. I think it's just that he got it really plain and he was not, I guess that's not what he expected. I don't know what he thought. I was like, are you sure you're gonna wanna get that just like that? And he's like, yeah. And so he got it and then he was like, mm, not so much. And he wanted mine. Mine was a lot better. So 
I am probably gonna go back and then add more toppings to it so it's just a lot of sugar so that was it you guys if you guys have gone or tried any of these places please leave a comment down below because it would be great to see what you guys order maybe we can order something that you guys put there next time um everything here is really sugary because I kind of just they're all kind of dessert places so you wouldn't want to go here to eat but yeah so I'll see you guys in my next video bye hi guys welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you guys some of the more popular Instagram worthy coffee places or coffee shops whatever you want to call them 